going on, Jerome's. So one of the Vikings rookies, not not even draft picks, but of course undrafted free agent Ivan Pace Jr. coming out of Cincinnati, formerly of Miami, Ohio. Uh, and I, I was super hyped about Pace because he was a heart and hustle guy, and it's a guy. He's a guy that you could easily root for. Did he check all the boxes in terms of what the NFL wants? Because, well, we're getting into the season. It's like, well, at this position, they must have uh, ten and three quarter inch hands as well as uh, thirty seven inch arms. Otherwise, I don't want them. Uh, but they can do all the measurements they want. And Ivan Pace Jr. was undersized, short, didn't do, didn't check all the boxes in their agility drills, but he plays like a, a, a man whose hair is on fire. It plays every single play like it's the Alamo, and he, he, you love him. You, you love him, man. Plus, uh, he, he ain't shy uh, about sharing his feelings. Uh, after we went undrafted, and he signed up with the Vikings as a UDFA, putting out on Instagram, y'all done effed up. And the league certainly did, as Ivan Pace Jr. Uh, quickly came in and was the best rookie off-ball linebacker uh, this season. And the future is extremely bright for the Week 14 NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And things are going to come for Ivan Pace Jr. Like we're talking about Pro Bowls. We're talking about All Pros. We're talking about uh, Defensive uh, Player of the Year nominations. Uh, he should have been Defensive Rookie of the Year finalist, but was snubbed. But... Either way, I'm in, man. I'm fully in. I'm fully hyped on Crazy Ivan, Ivan Drago, Pace Picante. I don't know. We have to workshop that nickname. Actually, if you have an Ivan Pace Jr. nickname, let us know in the comment section below. Uh, ooh, I, I pee too. <laughs> I also pee too because I, I drink a lot of water. Anyways, so uh, PFF, who, you know, frenemies of the Vikings, they, they did up their list of early breakout candidates for all 32 NFL teams in 2024. I think a Anthony Richardson's going to be a dude, by the way. Like, he, you know, he's forgotten because of the shoulder injury and CJ Stroud blowing up, but Anthony Richardson's going to be so damn good. He's going to be really damn good, man. But uh, PFF listed Ivan Pace Jr. as their breakout nominee for 2024, although I feel like he kind of broke out in, in 2023. Hmm. Uh, but this is what the road pace finish among the top 10 defensive rookies and overall PFF grade 77.2 pass rush grade at 78.0 and coverage grade 77.7. He did this in what was mostly a part time role, though he did get the lead role when Jordan Hicks was on injured reserve. But for most of the year, he was limited being the secondary linebacker in Brian Flores defense due to Hicks being a pending free agent and pace showing such promise as a rookie. 2024 could be an even bigger year for the undrafted linebacker out of Cincinnati. Also, so probably more importantly, so Marcus Damport is going to be Yegon. And Ivan Pace Jr. is going to take it out. Agent Zero. Let's go, man. Zero goose egg, D'Angelo Russell. Uh, so I'm really fired up for the future of, of Ivan Pace. And I, I truly believe that we're just scratching the surface of what this kid can do. He's going to lead the team in tackles. He's going to be that leader, the green dot. Uh, you lining up the defense and all that stuff. But I, I've said this almost ad nauseum where uh, it was great that he was used in a pass rushing role to a degree this year. But we got to see more. I mean, and Brian Flores is the blitzing dude. You, you have to let Ivan Pace Jr. go hunt and go eat. And I think that you know, Flores has given a full off season. You know, if Hicks returns, if he doesn't, that, that's fine. But Pace Jr. needs to have a featured role. And you know, we, we've said this a bunch too. Like, could, uh, Remember, Micah Parsons came into the league as an off-ball linebacker coming out of Penn State. He wasn't an edge rusher. Now, I'm not saying use Pace Jr. as a true edge. I... I uh, again, going back to the uh, height, weight, speed, snobbish sniff, uh, I, I don't think that he has the length of the bend to be a, a consistent edge rusher. But as a dude who's going to be blitzing you know, five, six, seven times a game, bringing heat, he just has a great nose for the football. Also, he's great in coverage. Uh, he's got a great range and has just has instinct for the football. He always takes uh, good angles, and he uh, is a phenomenal at run fit. So he's exactly what you want in an off-ball linebacker. Heart, hustle, leadership. And also th that chip firmly on his shoulder. So I'm over the moon uh, for Ivan Pace Jr. I mean, you can make a good case that he was the, the Vikings' number one rookie last year. Uh, th that's saying a lot uh, because Jordan Addison had a damn good rookie season as well. But I think the future is going to be bright. Uh, I think that he is an emerging superstar in the middle of that Vikings defense. And hopefully he'll be a cornerstone uh, for uh, Flo and company for many, many years to come. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Pro football focused. Not that one. Nailed it. Uh, listed Ivan Pace Jr. as their breakout candidate for the Vikings in 2024. Uh, let us know your thoughts on their thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once you put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, skull.
production value. 